The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials up 137, Nasdaq's up 40, S&Ps are up 13, gold contracts down at uh, 630, traded 1,084 an ounce. You get silver up 14 cents, 14 dollars and four pennies. Now it's pretty cool uh, that silver got back over the 14 dollar. We'll see whether it can uh, hang up there. Copper, copper's caught, caught a bid this morning. We'll see whether it can get over two dollars. That's up four pennies at 198. Light sweet crude testing the lows of Monday. Now we were closed yesterday, but the lows of uh, Monday, uh, 2835. Uh, it's getting tested this morning. I suspect, uh, you know, we'll see, it's going to bounce around here a bit. Uh, the way the market's trading, it looks like it's going to hold. Bonds, the 10 year down four ticks, 128. 10, the 30 off 6, 158.30, and good old King Dollar. King Dollar is uh, down 230 ticks, to up 230 ticks rather, at 99.25. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, let's go to the world of the S&Ps and take a look at the E-minis, because there's going to be a lot of opportunities out here uh, intraday. And I, I see one of them that's getting set up right as we're speaking here. So this is what we have. The E-minis out here today, folks, were as high as 1907. Right now, you're at 1884. You're up nine bucks. And if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that, you know, we came down fast, furious from the 0700 uh, hour. Uh, we spiked into a low out here of the uh, 1859. But when you take a look at this and we see what we've actually been doing, uh, you're going back into last week. And you're doing that. Uh, Basically, it, it's not breaking these lows, and you're coming into uh, 183,000 contracts, and we did uh, 87 down there. So bottom line is that what I expect you're going to see, you're going to bounce around here a bit, but you are going to build a cause to do this B to C of an ABC structure, and it's a very large ABC structure on the way down. Small caps, small caps are back to the June of 2013 level. If you take a look at the IWM, what you're going to see is that the IWM, is trading right now at uh, 100.23, and this baby is going to be the first level I suspect to actually break into the 67 area. Right now, you're at, you're at 100 on the IWM. I expect this. Well, let's see. The first run is 80, but that's a, that's a that's a big number. And what you what I think we're going to get out of the IWM is this. We're going to get the aspect. Let me pull up the Russell. We're going to get the aspect that. This market not only wants to go lower, it wants to go dramatically lower. Uh, what, what you've had happen inside the Russell on the downdraft the last two weeks is that it blew away the September lows, which was 10.78. Now, what the Russell had already done is that the Russell was the only indice that took out its August levels. The August levels in the Russell was 11.04. It blew that away in September, got down to 10.78. Did a counter trend bounce up to 1204, and now it's taken that whole area out. If we take a look at this and we put this on a monthly basis, what you're going to see, put this on a 10 year monthly, what you're going to see is that you, you made highs with light volume, you come off those highs with heavy volume. Last time we had any volume is going to bring you right back inside where 2007 was as well. As well as 2011 when it broke out. Now, so what does that set up? Well, you can't bust them up. Guess what? You're going to bust them down. And uh, next stop's about 80 bucks, man, which is pretty intense. Because what, what you do have happen, the correlation inside that small cap with the S&Ps gets you down to 1350. Uh, strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials today. Uh, you have United Health is up uh, 3%. You got Home Depot up one and a half. Cisco's up one and a quarter. Uh, taken away from it, Chevron's down nine tenths. 
of 1%, DuPont's off uh, half a percent, ExxonMobil's down three-tenths of 1%. Um, Big Blue, Big Blue's going to be coming out with numbers after the close. Uh, Big Blue's trading at 130.54, and uh, this has already broken lows. Yeah, this is, this is an ABC down, so this is going to be intriguing watching this shake out because your A point on this is one, your, your A point would be the gap October 19th, which is 148. Your B is 131, 41, 17 bucks. Your C is 141, so you got 21, 30, 21, 125. Yeah, so that's an ABC down at 125. Let's see it's at 125. 116. Actually, this is... Oh, so check this out, folks. This is pretty cool. The IBM is right at getting into the lower, meaning how we broke the 2007 highs. You know, when we broke that, IBM went from 124 to 136. The top of that consolidation is laying out there at 130, and that's where we're at. So what I expect you're going to see here is that we are going to see Big Blue break into this, and 116 is the number. And that's going to be a big heads up um, for all the markets. Uh, you know, we've, we've had some large caps get down, get into it. Um, big blue, that's down from 210. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials up 135, NASDAQ's up 34, SPs are up 12. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, uh, Tom O'Brien, we have our man, Mr. Kevin Hanks. Kevin, I'm so sorry, man. I didn't realize you were there. Shame on me, oh. man. How no you doing? No worries, guys. Good morning. He was just waiting for me to get here, Kevin, and kick things off. That's all. <laughs> exactly. Is. There we go. I, I, can't, I can only talk to two of them. I love it. I can't Perfect. talk to one. Oh, my God. <laughs> and listen, folks, don't forget, uh, every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, uh, TD Ameritrade uh, Swim Lessons right here at TFNN. Awesome show. Uh, hey, so it finally looks like we might get a, a tradable bounce here. You know, I spent all weekend talking to friends, and everyone's asking me what's going on with this market, and I'm like, well, you have to understand things are getting cheap. That's for sure. Yeah, it's you know you've got you got Bank of America with good earnings trading below book value right now. Yeah. Right? You've got all these financial trades. You've got J.P. Morgan, which came out with record earnings, trading lower than before the earnings came out, which I'm... blew the things away. You really got to stop, start, you know, taking a look at some of these good stocks and and seeing where where your portfolio fits in. Yeah, there's no well, you know what's intriguing, Kevin, is that. You know, 2007, 2008 was a disaster. I mean, we can go back to whether it's 94, 98, 2000, and, and uh, people are, you know, bottom line saying, hey, is this like a 2007? Now, I happen to be bearish, but this is nothing like a 2007 to me. No, Do you know I don't what I'm believe saying? so either. Yeah, I mean, we, what we don't have, folks, is this, okay? You can get corrections in the marketplace, and they can, they can be brutal. You don't have the amount of fraud inside the mortgage business and the paper that's out there that's hanging out there, you know. That's right, exactly. I mean, you, the the you know, the the unemployment rate wasn't five percent back then, and right. the economy is in a much better place than it was then. Yeah. And so, and the earnings are starting to see that. You're starting to see some of these earnings reports that are okay here. I'm I'm not having a big problem with earnings. And this week, 30 S and P names and about seven Dow components come yeah. out with earnings this week. And I think that's where you, you're going to get uh, you know a, a good bounce going. There's, you know, that's, sure. that's what it really comes down to. You know what I mean? Because we we both know that when you go down so fast, so yeah. furious. Um, you know, it just right. comes, and it when, it, when it comes, it's fast. <laughs> you know, right. It, and it's intriguing, you know, because in the financial press out here this morning, folks, that's all you keep hearing about is how bad uh, the oil market is. Well, you know, guess what? We were closed yesterday, and when you look at this oil contract, the the oil contract is just testing the lows of how it traded yesterday. We traded at 28.36. It blows my mind that at 28.36 blows my mind that it actually hit that this morning. But we were closed, and that hit it at 6.20 last night. Not la yeah, last night. That would have been six twenty right. last night. You know, right. So, but there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of good earnings coming out. You were just talking earlier, Tom, about IBM coming out after the bell. You also have Netflix coming out after the bell. You got a lot of big names coming out this week. It should be you should get a good you know. That's what we're going to talk about on Swim Lessons today is earnings, nice. and earnings plays, yeah. and how to trade the earnings cycle. And I bet Netflix, Netflix has always had some real juice in it, whether it's going to go up Always a fun down. earnings to watch, yeah. absolutely. No, totally. And so we have, uh, yeah, 16.05 today, right? That's, yep. yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting about the Netflix, too, is it's, they, they're, there's so much going on forward thinking that it's not even like what they're making. There could be so much there in their numbers in terms of how things are going, maybe overseas, their expansion. You know, they just went totally. into, what was it, 260 different markets. So right. talk about trying to forecast future expected revenues with 260 new markets, right? Imagine and that. And Netflix, if you go back and look at a chart of Netflix, they, that stock moves on earnings. Yeah, it there's does. so much either, to digest, I think. When they, it's not like a normal company where they're going to give you their top and bottom line. It's like right. there's so much to digest in terms of new subscribers, growth worldwide. Yeah, and think about it, guys. There's no real market. To, to judge them based on, right. you know, they don't give out ratings right. or they don't give out viewership or anything like right. that. So there's, it's very hard to 
It's not clear get a cut base for what they are. It's right. not clear cut, right? Right. No right. matter what they say, the, and, everyone's trying to digest what that even means. Right, terms. and that's why you see the, these moves on earnings sure. that are just wild. I agree, totally. And you know what's intriguing about that? Personally, I'm I'm battling with just cutting the whole cord and going on Netflix because yeah. it's such a good deal, and I I watch Netflix so I much. Do too. Right, and I'm saying to myself, okay, two hundred twenty-five dollars I pay or eight dollars. It's like, oh my god, it is. It, it, it's it's monster money. It's yeah. like not even. And I think that that transition is taking place in all of us, right? Well, Tom, anyway. you're a young man at heart, and you're talking just like all the millennials in the world that are doing the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. I have a son. I have a son who we were just on vacation, and he was sleeping on a boat, and we're like, well, be careful. You're you know. The TV on the boat may not pick up. He goes, oh, I got my computer. I got Netflix. I'm good. That's it. Totally. That's it, all you he, need. Didn't, he didn't even need a TV. Yeah. No, you know what's so funny? In the summer, we do the same thing. And we, yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's a no-brainer. I do the newsletter from the boat. It's, it's like it, it doesn't, you know, yeah. you, you don't depend. You don't even think like ABC, NBC on the boat. Right. No. You just, you know. You can watch Bloomberg on your iPad or something. Oh, that's right? good to yeah. know. I'm looking forward to a remote broadcast sometime this summer then. Totally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kidding me? Man, It'll no be job. boat and weather in no time. It will. <laughs> well, listen, man, we appreciate the update. Uh, you know, I know you're, uh, you know, you're getting going in a few minutes, uh, you know, out of Chicago. Oh, hey, listen, I mean, it must be so cold there, it's insane, right? Is it? Oh, it, you know what? It, it, is, it is cold. Oh, let's, let's just say it's cold. I don't want to <laughs> make any jokes about, you know, the politicians, it's so cold they have their hands in their own pockets. Yeah, right. Let's yes. put it that way. <laughs> That's perfect, man. And then, <laughs> let's see. So look at natural gas still can't get a bid and it's freezing. That's amazing. Yeah. Man. 213. Oh, well. Hey, what can you do? Well, All right, guys, earnings season. That's what we're talking about today. Noon time, Eastern Standard Time. It's a beautiful thing. Kevin, you have a great day, safe day. We look forward to the show at noon. Can't wait, guys. Okay, Thanks, man. Kevin. Take care. Bye-bye. The uh, yeah, the Netflix deal is a big deal, man. I just watched uh, an episode of that Peaky Blinders show yesterday. Isn't it great? That you, so talk about Netflix. Same deal, you know? Yeah. It's like I just watched, is that the first time you watched it? the first time, yeah. Oh, yeah so you, same thing. I was doing, you know, scanning for a new show right. to get into, and I figured to watch something. Right. Like that. And that's prob probably been out there forever. Someone turned me on to it last year. It hasn't been out there forever, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's a Netflix original. Right. Right. That's right. What, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I say it hasn't been out there forever because so much of what Netflix is great at too is taking not taking older shows yeah. but they have shows like Breaking Bad if you've never watched that you can just go binge watch that for the entire as I opposed know. to Piggy Blinders they actually produce that themselves it's wild man yeah. it really is the um, so we'll see whether this bounce is going to hold but I like what it did on the first leg down you know yeah it's quite a leg it, it took the leg down and and that's just enough because we took those four legs down last week and not one of them held meaning not not not, not the higher prices held it only took it. It took yeah. it south in a big way. And the uh, the oil market is getting hit, of course, because Iran is, you know, basically can sell now, sell across the world. Yes. I mean, China was their customer anyway, but now they can sell across the world. And they're, um, you, you know, it's, it, it's, almost, it's almost like so deviant that, that it seems to be totally set up. Everyone's worried about Iran coming back. Well, guess what? They come back. It hasn't broken to lower lows at this point, and that's, you, you take the, like, the common sense <coughs> aspect of it, they said, okay, there's going to be a huge uh, price war. Well, we've already had a huge price war. Yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's, it, it's out there, so, you know. But they are putting more oil into the world market now. So that's right. Supply is there. Right, it's, right, yeah. right. Well, they, they are. Uh, well, it, they have more customers they can sell to. You know? Sure, right. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 164. NASDAQ's up 45. S&P's are up 17. We're going to break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. 
Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 168. NASDAQ's up 47. S&Ps are up uh, 18. And uh, we have the Patriots win. We did. That yeah. was some good football, man. That was some good football. There's no doubt. Yeah. And uh, Denver, so uh, that's a replay, right? Denver and the Patriots? They, of course, it's, well, they've played many times. Peyton Manning and Tom Brady is probably right. the real media story that they're going to go with, which right. makes sense. I think this is the fourth time they've met in the AFC Championship. Is it? Okay. Which is pretty cool. That's four, four right. games to go to the Super Bowl between the same quarterbacks, you know. Right. That's a, that's a and if we didn't lose the last game, we would have been at home, home, right? Home field, right? Yeah. Home field. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And then the, then the Cardinals game, of course, that, w that was uh, quite a game also. Which one was that? Pittsburgh? But, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I know. There's so many good games. They all they all uh, converge. It seems they, like every weekend there's something. Unreal. And it was Fitzgerald. Was Cardinals, Fitzgerald. No, was that Pittsburgh. Or, was it, I'm sorry, Green Bay. Arizona Green Bay. Oh, was it Green Bay? Who was I Fitzgerald know, that ran it back? Yeah, that was Arizona. Right. Oh, that was, it was Arizona. Green it was Arizona. It was Green Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Arizona. They, right. they call the Cardinals now, I think, aren't they? Right. Yes. Yeah. But right. They were okay. playing Green Bay. Right. That was where because Aaron Rodgers had tied it up. Yeah. And that exactly. Was, and that was overtime. Right. And then bang, just like that. I know. And that's where that whole deal about you only get one shot because that's how the Patriots lost. They they picked that they let the other team yeah, have so it. Right. During the regular season, I. It's easier to stomach those overtimes where if the yeah. team gets the ball first. Uh, right. But it is tough that the NFL is still geared towards if you win that coin flip, you have an advantage for sure. Because right. if you just march down and score, the game's over. And it's kind of tough when you look at like that, right? Where it's the playoffs and um, Aaron, totally. Aaron Rodgers doesn't even get a chance. And no. somehow they, you know, they go into overtime and it's supposed to be kind of. And that's only the first time, too, right? Right. right. That's what's kind of weird about it. That Why is it the first time, and then if you get it later, the other team gets one right. chance? And it's supposed to be because what normally happens in overtime is most of the teams that get the ball first, before they put in that rule even, yeah. they would just go down and kick a field goal, and that's so easy on the first drive. Okay. That would end it. So they said, okay, field goals don't end the game anymore. 
you get a field goal, the other team at least has a shot to come back. Oh, cool. I but, see. But on touchdowns, if you march down the field 80 yards usually and score, that's still going to count as, as a game See, winner. all these teams just got so much better, they can get a touchdown like nothing now. Yeah, well, that was, I mean, it was quite a game. The first oh, play was. was like a 75-yard pass, so yeah, maybe they deserve it, right? That's, that's pretty wild. Is one of the Tigers is saying that Brady was a seventh round draft pick? Is oh that... man, yeah, that's you, you should know that. That's all. It's, really? That's that's been his story forever. I mean, he's yeah. That's a mind blower, man. Oh, for sure. Let's go to Tom in Massachusetts. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom. Tommy. Good How you morning. doing, man? How about those Patriots, huh? Right? It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> totally. Totally. Next weekend, we'll see what happens. At three o'clock. That'll be a good, game. That'll be a good right. game. Yeah. We will. We're going to be cooking hey. away. I can't imagine that the Patriots are going to lose. Talk about some bias, but I don't <laughs> think Tom Brady can be more motivated for a game than Peyton Manning in the AFC Championship. That's right. like the ultimate. Right. So. It'll be worth the wait. That's right. Yeah, no doubt. What are we going to look at today? Well, I kind of jumped out of that USLV. I was getting sick and tired of that. Um, but uh, I, I jumped into the LABU on Friday. And I'm wondering what you think about that. Yeah, you might get some action here. A couple of the Tigers were just looking at the IBB. Uh, so the IBB, folks, this is the um, LABU, which is three times the IBB. This is the Biotech Bull uh, Direction uh, ETF structure. So this is, uh, I'm going to pull up, up the IBB first. Okay, we'll look at the IBB. Now, the IBB... This was also on a one-way trip on the way down. We just we went from uh, 340 uh, to 273. You you broke down the September low of 285. Now this is pretty cool actually. So watch how this works. So on a daily we had that low out there at 11 million. You broke that down with 4.3. On the weekly. Yeah, on the weekly, you had 33 million, you broke that down with 19. So that does set up a bounce, you know? I mean, you, you still get volume at the lows, but that, that and these IPBs, man, they can move, man. I mean, and on a bounce, um, yeah, I think you get action here. Let me pull up LABU once again. So... been moving around all morning, I mean. Yeah, I mean, you can get a bounce to like, uh, well, that's a big bounce, man. You're at you're at 996. You can bounce to 1465. The real key, of course, and I, I know you know this because you trade these a lot, is that they're daily investment vehicles. The, the real key here is that can you get a trend going for a few days in a row? And I, I think you can right now. It's just and what you're hearing, folks, is that because last week each and every day had failure, 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 earnings are coming out. It's like okay, man, you know they can catch some people. You know, and get a get a, a small bounce going, and that small bounce, if you get it on light of volume, bottom line is that uh, that's setting up a much larger ABC structure on the way down. You know, but there's enough negatives out there to get a bounce going. Let me actually go look at the cell gene C E L G. Cell gene, I believe, is one of the biggest weighting structures inside there. Yeah, see, so, it is, yeah. Yeah, so cell gene right now is up 248. You're at 105.49. Um, now, this is pretty cool because, see, what Celgene did, the IBB came into that level, October level, September, well, this is September 28th level, uh, with lighter volume. Celgene came in with heavier volume the first day down on the 11th, then tested it with lighter volume. But this is really cool if you're I'm just going to play a bounce because Celgene broke 47 million. They have 49 million. See, Celgene broke that swing with volume, and that's pretty cool, man. That's because that's an indication that, uh, let me go over to the IBB again. Let me just see what the structure is inside this. Okay, so Celgene's 9% of it. Let's see, Biogen's 9.2, Amgen's uh, 8.9. This is, there's some big ones in here. Let's go to yeah. Jaleed for a second. Yeah. And Jaleed, you know, is underneath it. Put this. And Jaleed had light of volume, but still broke down. BIIB, I believe, is Biogen. That's the strongest. Well, no, that's the largest weighting right now. Now, Biogen 
was the first one here. You want to see a mess. Biogen's been basing, but Biogen was the first biotech off its highs. That came off its highs. Look at that. March of 2015. That was at 480. Isn't that wild? Yeah. You know, the IBB held up, folks, in, in Biogen. And now Biogen, because the other ones are catching up with it, is the largest waiting again. Sure. You know? I think you get action, Tom. You know, I'd, I'd, trade, I'd, trade, I'd trade this bounce, man. I'm just going to see where, where it takes me today, I guess. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, gentlemen. Okay, Good talking to you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Hey, we get some cold weather down here. A little bit, I know. I got my big jacket today. I'm a little bit cool right now. And, uh, it's freezing it's a little, here. It's well, a little chilly in we're here. Watching Nico and Paige this morning. They yeah, were they were bundled up. They were up. bundled up in here. Too. There's no doubt about that. For sure. And uh, uh, so, well, uh, so uh, gold and silver equities. A lot, a lot of people want to look at gold and silver equities. And what you have here, folks, is this. There's, yeah, you stay right there. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. We're going to bisect some uh, gold and silver equities because there's a lot of divergence inside that market right now. You have um, a lot of them breaking lows, and a few of the others just they're, they're hanging, they're hanging in. Dow's up 139, Nasdaq's up 42, S&P's are up 14. We're going to be coming right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow's uh, up 132, Nasdaq's up 38, S&P's are up 13. If we go up to Canada for a second and we take a look at uh, Canada first, because we're going to go through some of these uh, gold and silver equities. 
If you take a look at the composite in Canada, this is uh, uh, pretty intense, actually, because what you have, we're at 12,068 right now, and you bring this back, what you're going to see um, is that Canada had got to the highs of 2007, um, couldn't handle them, and now there it's testing the, the high bar of the 2008 level. So it's pretty intense what's happening the up October here. October 2008 level. Yeah, right. sorry, thank you. Yeah. Um, and, and now, on top of that, folks, what you have is that you have the Canadian dollar simultaneously getting plummeled. That's at 145. So that's approximately what? That's about 60 cents to 60. I think that's like 60 cents to the US dollar, which is just intense because at one point it was almost par. Yes. So if you own. Up in Canada, you've lost both ways. Okay, now, that being said, now watch this. this is, let's look at Gold Corp. So Gold Corp, you know, premier gold company, right? 52-week low. Company takes in $4.3 billion. That would be, looks to me like I'm bringing that up. I'm bringing it up in the U.S. So I yes. think that's U.S. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, so... Now, this little baby has got destroyed. It's under, or it's just going to test. I think it was just, no, no, it's under the 2008 lows, so it has to get above that level. The thing that's going to be intriguing with something like this is that will the currency kick in? Let me see when they come out with their earnings. So they're coming out with their earnings February 25th. Because, what, see, what, what should... 18,000 employees. Their biggest mine is in Red Creek, uh, Red Lake, rather, in Canada. Um, and what's, what's intriguing here is that I wouldn't be buying this, okay? But if you're a fundamentalist, I'd be looking at this and saying, well, you have 18,000 employees. Their biggest operation is in Red Lake. That's Canadian dollar they're paying. They're still getting paid U.S. dollars. And, and you know, so sure, sure. that is like the aspect of the South Africans. It's a good setup. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, now, that being said, that's not holding up. PAAS is breaking down out here today. That come out with numbers. Yeah, that's, that's and that's just one variable, right? It so is. What, yeah, it who is. knows what else? It yeah, is. For sure. There's no because doubt. Because you can see Harmony shooting through the moon when right. that variable's really at play, so maybe there's something else going in these companies. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. And what, ha what had happened with Gold Corp is that they expanded at the wrong time. And that's, that's what happens with yeah. a lot of these companies. You know, they, they get a lot of money, they think things are gonna keep going, they expand sure. at the wrong time. Because I was looking, just not to cut it off, but so yeah. you put your issue out of the gold report this morning, of course, yes. so I was going over it, and it was interesting last week how differently some of those equities behaved, right? Huge. Where there was huge pullbacks in some of them, and some of them stayed the same, or I even appreciated a little bit as I was going yeah, through so, it myself. So, yeah. so picture this, folks. Uh, we had IAG, we got stopped out of IAG, Okay, which was, you know, sure. nice setup, but bang, it got, got toasted. Pulled back for you know? sure. And when I say get toasted, it's not that they're small numbers, so the percentages is, is, was pretty good, okay? Right. And IAG was a decent setup, well, I, you know, but guess what? They took it, um, AUI, okay, got, got toasted. That thing came down quick. Now, that being said, um, guess what? An Eco Eagle didn't move much. Um, uh, Great Panther, uh, GPL did, uh, but it still held price. You know, it, yeah. it, that last Thursday was pretty intense in that market. Yes. You know, uh, so it, we do have the divergence that's out there, and that's where you better make sure that, you know, uh, there's a couple questions there, and, you know, I've told, you know, many callers many times, I don't like the GDX. You know, for some reason people like, and the GDX, yeah. it's, it's the, what, what, you, what, what has happened in a, in a case like this, this is uh, the market vectors. I mean, you're, you're more diversified no matter what. And so that's the attractiveness, that you're not going to wake up and, and, and one stock, as can happen in the metal market sometimes, that, can pop. You know, it, oh, you're, you're more diversified no the, matter what. You know, that's, that's right. Yeah. And, but you're still heavily into the miners, so there's going to be like, they're this, going to move very correlated, but you have that at least, you're not in that one, I can understand, you know. I can understand why they like it. Yeah. The problem is, is that 
The largest waiting is Newmont. Sure, who's no, a, you should like the New, heaviest in, yeah, amounts, for sure. Newmont That's and a, Barrick right. have been the biggest When you're dogs. saying, I'm not sure who, why you like it. You know, it's just no, no. probably diversification. It's, it's, That's all. Whether people can express that or not, it's that they're more diversified, right. I think. Um, but in, in, in I that, agree with you. That, I mean, you yeah, should I like the top that, weightings but, but if that, you're going to do that. Like, right. if you, you, know, you only want to be diversified with things you like. So, and, yeah, I and agree right from, right from, the thing is a mind blower about this is that right from, I remember, you know, right from the beginning of the gold market, you know, Newmont was always the one that people would say, oh, buy Newmont, and Newmont was always the dog. It's like, my God. And it just never went. I mean, Newmont, so Newmont in 2001, when the gold started, was $20. Yeah. You know, um, it got up to 2011, which is the high, it got up to 69. Yeah. And, and really, it was a, just a, it was only above sixty for what no time at all right. really. So and, twenty and, to sixty, yeah. And so what happened there was this: is that Newmont had a huge hedge on. Okay. They closed the hedge at yeah. not the high. They closed the hedge at thirteen hundred dollars. The hedge cost them five point five billion dollars to close. Yeah. <laughs> it's like oh my god. Yeah. You know. So they've been the biggest company for a while, though. Too, oh, they, right? they, or at least New, near, Newmont near Barrick, the top. And Newmont and so and Barrick are the biggest companies. You know, you're not going to have They're millions of ounces. That you're not going to make twenty times your money because it's the biggest company the, out there. No doubt, know. no doubt. Uh, now, if we go over to South Africa, this Rand dollar, folks, looks like it wants to go even higher. So this morning, it's at sixteen seventy-three. I mean, I think we got to go to South Africa, man. And what's so funny? I keep saying it. Do you remember this day? That, I do. That was the day and, 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 and how big that bar looked. And, on, on and the that. day that he's looking at is uh, was December. It was, it was fourteen to one, right? What's that? It was fourteen to one, right? It was. And yeah. that was the day, though, that they originally fired the finance minister. Right. And that's when it spiked. It's just always amazing in, you know, in keeping things in context where that looks like a huge move. Yeah. And it's just been straight up since then, even. It's not, you know, you know, what's sad, is that the if you're spending the money inside South Africa, you're okay. But if you had money that you want to spend somewhere else, you you just lost. Just such a huge amount. I'm looking at it from just from 12 to 17. Oh, sure. If you're holding six the rand, months. yeah, you yeah, know, that's not. If you're holding the rand and you don't plan on spending rand, right? Yeah, that's that's. And if you're a South African company, you know that's all you can right. hold. Okay, that's yes. that's the law. Sure, that's okay. what, that's what's so wild about it. It's, Hopefully, they. I'm sure there's ways to be holding liquidity while not holding. Yeah, it'd, it'd, be it'd, hold, be, it'd, it'd be holding the asset. Right. Yeah, some, it'd, some, it'd, it'd be holding foreign assets. But I agree, that's still tough, and you know that there's people holding it, for sure. Yeah. Foreign assets would be would be the thing that you, you want to be holding. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. You know. The, um, if we go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks uh, out here, let's see what we got. You get uh, Ford is up uh, 13. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 147. Nasdaq's up 43. S&Ps are up 15. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. 
Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is uh, up 93, Nasdaq's up 24, S&Ps are up 8. And uh, don't forget, folks, uh, coming up next, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, Steve Rhodes, um, uh, Dave White, and uh, I'll be back this afternoon as and well Andy as Andy, because it's it. a Tuesday. And Dave has a workshop coming up. Yeah, he's doing his workshop tomorrow night. That Wednesday quick? Night. Oh, I my know, God. It quick. Today's Tuesday. It kicks off the week. He's doing it Wednesday, Wednesday night. And um, so it's going to be on shorting volume. We've talked about the short volume. Yes of stocks. Um, be 60 minutes for subscribers to his Path of Least Resistance or Tech Insider. Either one, sign up for a free trial and you'll get the newsletter for 30 days and you'll get into his course tomorrow night. And he put out a white paper last week talking about it. You'll get that emailed instantly to you. Um, it should be a good course. He sent I'm sure a, a it's going to be great. He's and and what, what does happen, folks, Dave just eats up option expiration. And option expiration is this Friday. And he's into the numbers, you know, which yes. is, um, I like that for sure. Oh, totally. You know, in terms of looking at those, breaking down the different people who are reporting short volume on stocks and right. trying to get you the instant real time calculations which, which, which is huge yes. there's, there's no doubt about that yes. because information in the market um current information yeah, right current there we go totally uh and we talk about current information uh this is going to still get this is going to get pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out because you have the s p's uh coming back in um testing the the spike low of today uh you know and you know i as i said a little bit earlier i think it's going to hold and this is just deviant enough um that you know, as you're coming back in, when you had four failures last week, each and every day, uh, we'll see how it comes at this. Uh, I don't think it, I, I don't see it going to this. Uh, is that 1859 down there? No, 18. Okay, so yeah, the 59 was from last night. Uh, the spike down this morning is uh, 1878, and right now you're at 1882. So. Uh, you know, we'll see how that whole thing shakes up. But uh, please, uh, you stay right there because we've got some great programming coming up. Uh, of course, uh, Swim Lessons with TD Ameritrade uh, with option expiration this week. You know, so uh, whether it's... And some volatility and some earnings, right? Netflix, huge, we'll see what happens. Huge. Yeah. The expected move on Netflix, too. It'll be interesting to see what that expected move and is. And it is cool because it's like we're saying, um, just because they tell you what their numbers are, doesn't mean where the stock's going to go. And that's no. why that volatility, it's its more so than in most numbers, where if, you know, a GM or a GE is reporting numbers, there's, right. they're, they're giving you what you need to know, and then you know where the stock's going to move. That's right. But Netflix, you, you're just not sure, because there could be one small little tidbit of information buried in there that everyone's trying to get to in terms of what happened in their latest market expansion or something. You know, there's no, just... No doubt. Yeah, it, well, it really, the value of that stock really is determined by... Not their current earnings right now. You know, it's determined by future growth, future expectation. So that's where things get 
and that's all interpretation more than it is totally. just straight numbers. And if we look at Bank of America, you know, Kevin was saying that the earnings were great. Yes. Well, guess what? It just went from uh, 18 down to 14, 25. That's a eight. tough one, right? Now, check this out. There was an article in the, in the journal this morning, and what they were talking about is that, you know, kids your age and younger, right, they're changing the banking system, and this has been the fastest acceleration of, of people using their cell phone transferring money. And the, the big banks are losing out on it because it's not the big banks yet that have yes, that understood how to take advantage of it. that technology and yeah. so forth, yes. So that's, you know, the, the yep. it was a Bank of they America. They stand a lot to risk, right? The, and, the, and there's a Bank of America guy. Yeah. That's what he was saying today. He yeah. says, we are on this and we're going to be on it more because we don't want to lose that segment. That sure. segment's a big segment. It's the future. Yeah, yeah. it's the future. Yeah. Big money, man. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, Dow right now is up by 99, Nasdaq's up 25, and see the bonds are still back down. Now, the bonds don't have volume on this back down yet. Um, then is that so, depending on which side you trade the market, you want to keep your, your eye on that 10-year. 10-year um, right now, you know, still hanging tough. Um, and you could say it's really still at highs, even though it's down yeah. at six ticks, you know. You stay right there, folks. Um, I'm Anderson Basil Chapman's coming up next. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. We'll be right back here tomorrow morning. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.